Hey, welcome back. It's Mike from Party of Four Crafts again. Thanks for purchasing the Easter basket tags. I'm going to go through now and show you how to customize each one of them. Some of them are a little more difficult than others. I'll start from the beginning. So if you're brand new to this, you'll be able to see how to do the simple ones and then I'll move up to some more difficult ones. So I'll start with this one. This one is called Easter Bunny Tag One Layer. And this one, you just put a simple block text into this bunny, cut it out of wood or acrylic in one layer and hang it from the tag. So this one's only a couple steps. So pick a font that you like, fill the size. This font is, is a good one. It works well because it's block, but they're still not completely blocked. They're curved a little bit. It's called Berlin Sands FB Demi. I don't think I bought this one anywhere. I think this one came with my computer or with Inkscape. So all you have to do is convert this to a path by going path, object to path, and then just click on the first letter and hold down shift while you click on the rest of the letters. Continue holding down shift while you click on the, the rabbit, and then just go path union. That's it. That's all there is to it. This should be ready to cut. You might want to check and make sure if any of these came out too thin and you're worried that they're going to fall apart, you can undo that and make the text taller or whatever you need to do. Okay, next up is the egg. The egg might be a surprise. It wasn't even in the listing. This one is a bonus, but the egg is going to have some curved text inside of it and it'll cut the outside of the egg and then cut all of these shapes out of it. It would look great in a walnut or a pastel colored acrylic. And for this one to curve text, I've already drawn the curve for you. It's already there. So all you have to do is click on the text, shift click on the curved line, and then go text, put on path. Now, because this is still text, it's still editable. I can still click on it and change whatever I need to. The Glowforge won't recognize it. Lightburn won't recognize it. So you have to convert this to path before you can send it to the laser. So I go path, object to path. And now each one of these letters has been, you can see the nodes are converted to path. But you can also see when I hover over this E, it overlaps the L. And if you left it like this, the laser wouldn't know what to do with that. And it would just ignore the overlap and you would end up with an unengraved part in this L. So you need to union them all together. So click on the first letter, shift, click, shift, click, shift, shift, click, shift, click, and then go path union. And now you'll notice it's all one. There's no more overlap to worry about. Last thing you need to do is turn this line off. So click on it with the node editing arrow and then shift click this X down in the bottom left corner and it turns that line off and that one's ready to go. I might move this up a little. Looks like the A is touching the star a little bit. And then that's it. That one's done. All right, next up is the two layer rabbit. This one's pretty simple also. So this one is generally cut out of wood and then this one is cut out of a white or pastel colored acrylic and then they're glued together. In this case it doesn't really matter what glue you're using because it's not transparent acrylic. You don't have to worry about that. Just use something that's not going to squish out the sides when you squeeze them together. So a super glue would work, a wood glue would work, E6000, any of those things would be fine for this. But this one for short words, I union it and cut it all as one piece. But for longer names, like Alexandria, I would cut that out of a separate piece and just glue it right across the top of the bunny. For short names, like Alex, I'll union it inside and cut it as one piece. So again, we start by converting. I, I might even thicken this, and I'll show you how to do that shortly. Convert it to path. need to union it together, so click shift click shift click shift click and then path union now if i want to make this thicker i prefer there's several ways to do this i can just hit control and the number zero and it makes it thicker but i don't really have as much control over how much thicker it made it and you can see it, it doesn't look great undo all that and I'm going to go to 
path effects and then I have to click on the path first click this plus sign here and go to offset now at offset it allows me to type in how much I want to offset it positive numbers make it bigger negative numbers make it smaller so I'll start with 0.1 millimeters and you just hit enter it made it a little bit bigger not enough now if I change this to 0.2 it doesn't make it another 0.2 like 0.3 it makes it 0.2 if I type 0.5 now it doesn't make it 0.6 it, it updates it to be 0.5 so I'll type in 0.3 and see how that looks that looks pretty good. It's nice and smooth. It's thick. It's not going to fall apart. I'm going to stretch it a little bit so the X overlaps a bit more. And so now this is a path, and all I have to do is shift click it with this. And I go path union, and that one's ready to go. Now finally, this one is a bit harder. This one over here for the long names. For the short names, it's exactly like the one we just did. Convert it to path, thicken it and then union it to the chick. So I won't go through that one again. But this one's a little bit harder because it extends beyond, so I sliced the egg open. It's going to start out the same. Uh, I'll start with the words, so I'll object to path it, and then shift click them all. It's windy outside. And now I'm going to reshape the missing part of the egg to attach better to the word. And the way you do that is with the node editing arrow. So I can edit any one of these nodes however I want. When I do, it changes the curvature. So you have to fix some of the curvature when you're done. But I'll stretch that one out and then fix that curve. This one isn't touching as much as I want. It could cause weird things to happen when a union, so I'll stretch that a little more. And then this one goes zoop, so I'll move it up to about here and then fix that curve. I didn't do the zoop sound effect on that one. The same with that one. Stretch this down a bit this over here, bring this up, this up, and I'll fix this curve, missed. Don't think I even need this one, I'm just going to delete that and then fix that curve. And I'm going to add another node in the middle to stretch up. So I double click it and it makes another node. I'm just going to drag it up there so I have more contact. Now all I have to do is I'm already clicked on that. Shift click on that. Go path union. Add a fill so it's easier to see. Turn off the outline. And there you go. That one's ready to go as well. So that's it. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions as you're going through it, just send me a message, party4crafts at gmail.com, or put a comment under the YouTube channel. If you want to see when new videos come out, click the subscribe button and turn on notifications. All right, thanks. I'll see you next time. Bye.